Trey here with Mixed Cat Computers. Today we're going to show you how to do a fan mod on the DB9000 laptops. And what this will do is actually allow us to control the fan, either to set it in normal mode or set it all the way into high speed mode running at full power. We'll start with this teardown. And why would we want to do a, a fan mod on a DB9000? These systems overheat. <laughs> Plain and simple. Overheat, they break down the VGA chips, start to crack with the junky solder that HP uses, the European compliant standard that uses no lead. Even though, since you know, it's not a consumable product, it's not something we eat, but it's not allowed to have lead in it for some reason. And on these fan mods, we usually see anywhere from a 10 to a 20 degree. Uh, decrease in temperature and the cooler they run the longer these laptops last and we got people shipping them from all over the country a pretty cool mod if you decide that this is too advanced for you or you don't have soldering experience you're welcome to send a downtown shop in Kissimmee, Florida or stop in and visit us but I'll have some more details on the bottom of the site we're gonna have lots more videos like this so stay tuned guys And for more details of what we do at the shop, go to MixCatComputers.com. We're going to have a brand new uh, store on there that's going to have lots of upgrades and accessories available at MixCat. Of course, uh, reseller prices aren't up there yet, but we'll get them up there soon. Give us a call if you're a shop and you need us to help you with some repairs. Cables. HP actually uses some pretty inferior grade cables, very, very thin. We do have an upgrade of this cable, a little bit thicker mill, that way they hold up better. We have that available on our uh, website, mixcatcomputers.com. Alright, now this is the wireless controller switchboard for the DB9000. What we're going to do is modify this and make it where this can control the fan. We're also going to disable the switch capability for the board so that way the wireless is constantly on. Here's an example of one of those cables, a little bit thicker. You can see he's a little bit longer than standard, but you can actually fold these to fit as needed on the actual laptop. But it's a thicker cable that really holds up nice, and usually when we do a repair, we place, replace those cables. Now here we got the wireless switchboard out, we got our wire that we're going to be using, and what we're going to be doing is actually 